I hear in Nigeria economists and politicians telling me that the GDP of Nigeria is 500 billion United States dollars and that therefore it is the biggest economy in the world. I am reminded of the words of Yoweri Kaguta Museveni, my friend, when he says, in a debate between dwarfs, what is the value of one dwarf saying I'm taller than the other dwarfs? You are still a dwarf. This Nigeria, this Nigeria is capable in five years of becoming a three trillion GDP economy. The fundamentals are there. The fundament, talk of human resource. And I think it is my sister, you go to anywhere in the world. Tell me, engineering, artificial intelligence, space, Nigerians. The saying goes, if you go to any part of the world and you do not find a Nigerian, run away from there. Because there is nothing to be done there. It is these Nigerians who will move the country. I keep on reminding my Nigerian friends, you say you are 220 million. No, you are not. I suspect you are 300 million. And if my suspicion is correct, you owe this region and this continent the talent. You know, when people talk about instability in Nigeria, I ask them, can you handle refugees from Nigeria? Can you? You cannot. They'll overwhelm the entire West Africa. So it is in Africans' need, genuine desire that Af Nigeria remains great and becomes great. All the ingredients are there. Writing in 1983, Chinua Achebe, in his book, The Trouble with Nigeria, said that it is simply and squarely a problem of leadership. That is an African problem, and I also want to say it is also a problem of followership. Before the SMWE started speaking, he talked about what is expected of him in the village. When you are appointed into a public office in Africa, they actually expect you to be a thief. And if you don't steal, they say you are not wise. So in the minds of many people in Africa, Abuja and Lagos are hunting grounds where they send their sons and daughters to steal, to take antelopes, which they share in the village. That thinking must change because service for humanity is what we must look at. And I have no doubt in my mind that Africa can do it. When I look at Africa and I look at Nigeria, I see an Africa that is capable of rising because our sons and daughters now present in the continent and even in the diaspora. You go and see the Africans in the diaspora, whether they are in Antigua and Barbuda, and my good friend here, the ambassador of Antigua and Barbuda, Wallace Williams, Trinidad and Tobago, will agree with me in that regard. You go to St. Vincent's and Grenadines, you go to Jamaica, everybody now wants to come and invest in Africa. But we must make the circumstances right. So we must improve our politics. We must enable, make our laws enabling. We must improve our agriculture. We must improve our health. We must improve our education system. We must improve the quality of the environment so that we stop our young men and women dying in the Mediterranean Sea, dying off the coast of Dhaka, going into modern day slavery in Saudi Arabia in that part of the world. It can't be done. We have seen...